last night I only had four hours sleep so excuse that if I look a little bit sleepy today and not enthusiastic so far if you watch my videos you know that I always talk about how I improve my speaking skill how I learned English by myself you know but today I want to take you guys to 2017 June 2017 when I was a beginner I decided to learn English by myself now during the summer I was trying to figure out of learning English by myself like I was like you you know I was searching on Google like you know what are the best ways of learning English like okay how can I improve my speaking skill how can I learn English so I thought okay you know reading books might be really helpful and because I was so into reading books I always thought that okay by reading books I can improve my vocabulary I can improve my reading skill and I can learn new vocabulary so by learning new vocabulary expanding my vocabulary and reading books I can improve my writing and speaking skill and everything okay so that was my first goal obviously I was like so naive I had this book you know uh, the book thief I had the Turkish version of this book okay so I thought since I got a Turkish version of this book I'll go buy the English version of this book I'll uh, read the both both of them but I'll read the you know English version of the book and if there is any word or any vocabulary any grammar structure any sentence that I don't understand I can check out the Turkish version of the book that was my initial goal so this is why I bought the English version of this book and I was writing down every single word that I didn't know at the time like I was making this vocabulary uh, you know list of words okay not only I did this with the book thief but I also tried to do this to, with the, the Lord of the Rings okay I got a Turkish version of the Lord of the Rings and English version of the Lord of the Rings okay as you can see guys those list of words while I was reading the Lord of the Rings and the book thief I was doing those list of words okay long list of words during the summer I spent like every single day studying like three hours four hours a day okay for two months by the end of like two months I realized that okay this is not working okay this is not working dude because I don't understand most of the sentences because I wasn't familiar with the basic grammar structure basic English grammar structure okay I remember like yesterday okay while I was reading the book thief there was this sentence they are the ones I can stand to look at I mean I remember spending like hours and hours on this sentence and you know not being able to understand at all like you know I couldn't even understand the meaning of I can stand to look at okay I think basically they should tell you something about my uh, English level at the time okay I always thought that I would improve my English by reading books by making list of words that was a huge failure for me I spent about a month and a half almost two months studying like this okay making list of words reading books etc and I realized that okay this is not gonna work I need to come up with another method I need to come up with another solution I need to figure out a new way of improve my uh, English okay the second failure was uh, by the end of uh, July I was always asking people like you know people who kind of speak English kind of new English like, what can I do to improve my English like how can I learn English and everybody around me was like okay you should you definitely need to watch TV shows okay by watching TV shows in English you're definitely gonna uh, improve your English okay you should 100% you must you must watch something in English you must watch TV shows and let me tell you that guys up until six years ago I had never never watched anything in English in my life okay any TV show I know it sounds so weird but my first ever TV show was Game of Thrones and I was like okay since everybody gives me the same advice there is no harm of watching tv shows in english and then i started watching tv shows in english and it was by the end of the july i started watching the game of thrones first i was watching the uh, tv show game of thrones with turkish subtitles and then english subtitles but when it comes to english subtitles i wasn't understanding anything so i was like what is the point of doing that like what is the point of watching tv shows in english if i'm not able to improve my vocabulary improve my speak it's like what's the point of doing that 
I, 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 ha I don't know how to improve my English by just watching TV shows. And all of a sudden, something clicked. I was like, okay, why don't I get those subtitles? Like, why don't I print them out and read the subtitles, okay? Maybe by reading the subtitles, I can remember those things and I can remember those images and I can easily read those subtitles because they're like very short, basic sentences. And this is how I can improve my uh, vocabulary. And so this is what I did, okay? So what I did was, first of all, I would get the English subtitles and then I would copy paste the Turkish subtitles right under the English subtitles. And I would uh, try to read those subtitles and take notes of the words that I didn't know. You can see the explanations of those words right next to those lines. Not only I did this with Game of Thrones, but also I did the uh, same thing with Harry Potter, okay? Okay, let's go through some of the things that I did uh, six years ago, okay? For instance, look at that, guys. In my opinion, meals, for instance, you see that, guys? I wrote down the Turkish version of the meal because I didn't know what meal meant. For instance, this is what we're gonna do. I didn't know what this is what we're gonna do, man. Are the rumors true, Albus? I didn't know what rumor meant. I would watch the movie, I would watch Game of Thrones, I would watch Harry Potter again and again. Bro, I would read those scripts. At the time, while I was watching Game of Thrones and Harry Potter, my second TV show in English was uh, How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother was my second TV show after Game of Thrones. I was watching them together and I really like How I Met Your Mother so much. At the time, I was like, okay, this is the best TV show I ever seen, you know? And I was also reading the scripts of How I Met Your Mother, Game of Thrones and Harry Potter. September 15, I quit my job. I told my manager of the publishing house that I was working in. Uh, I was like, okay, this year I need to learn English. This is the only time I get and I have school. I have a lot on my plate. Uh, if I keep working as a part time, there is no way I can learn English. This year is going to be my priority for learning English. So I quit my job. I fully focus on my education and university and also learn English. September 15, it was Friday and I was like over the moon because I was like, okay, I was so fully focused on learning English. But starting from the end of July up until, you know, October 15, I spent almost like three months reading those scripts every single day, many, many times. Reading the scripts of Harry Potter, reading the scripts of Game of Thrones, reading the scripts of How I Met Your Mother. And that was my second failure. That was my second failure, guys. By the end of September, you know, at the beginning of the Oct October, I realized that, oh my God, that method didn't work either. Reading the scripts of the Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, How I Met Your Mother, making translations, writing down every single word's meanings, or watching Harry Potter and Game of Thrones and How I Met Your Mother, didn't work either. That they didn't work either because I realized that I was forgetting, let's say, you know, rumor, okay? I've seen this in Harry Potter. I was forgetting half of the words that I had learned. It got me thinking like, Arsene, you don't only, you know, forget half the words meanings, but also you can't even make a basic sentence. You can't even say like, I'm gonna go out meet up with my friends. So what's the point of reading the script if I forget half the words and also I'm not able to make even basic sentences. And then uh, in the middle of October, I started watching Friends. I like Friends so much. And something, something about Friends made me wanna not only read this lines but also wanted to repeat the lines and that was the turning point in my life i was reading the script first okay come on you're going out with the guy okay i was reading the lines again but i was forgetting half of the words okay and all of a sudden something made me wanna repeat the line okay so i was like come on you're going out with the guy and then i wanted to say this line without looking at the text and i realized that the more i was repeating the lines without looking at the text and the more I was making sentences you know without looking at the text I was improving my speaking skill and I wasn't I wasn't forgetting the words anymore okay every single verse that I was learning throughout the episode during the episode stayed with me okay stuck with me okay not only I wasn't forgetting 
the words that I was learning. But also, I was able to make basic, basic sentences. Like, I would go to the kitchen, I would repeat the lines, like, you know, I'm gonna clean the kitchen, or I'm gonna wipe the table. I wipe tables for it, I steamed milk for it. Things like that. And then, this is how I came up with my method that I share with you guys in every single, each one of my videos. And that was my turning point. Basically, when I share my methods, there was a very long failure process for me. From June to October, I spent almost four months. All of my attempts failed until, by accident, I got this urge to repeat the lines without looking at text. I was like, okay, that works. Repeating the lines without looking at text works. It got me thinking, like, why does this method work specifically? Like, instead of reading the lines, reading the scripts, why repeating lines without looking at text and practicing like this works very effectively. The first reason is because when I was trying to repeat the lines without looking at text, I was picturing those things, you know, I was using my imagination and in every single video I say that. And that is a very strong context. Your brain knows the situation which words you can use because you use your imagination. The other thing is when we read, we just get the information. When you read, you're just in a passive situation, okay? But when you're acting, you're acting. When you're practicing, when you're repeating lines without looking at text, you're acting. You're not in a passive situation anymore. If you really uh, think that you can put yourself in their situation and you can vividly picture those scenes, you know, because you like the movie, then this method will definitely work for you. By this method, guys, I was improving my speaking skill. And that was the most important thing. While I was improving my speaking skill, I was getting familiar with the English grammar structures. I was learning words, and I wasn't forgetting them anymore. The more I was practicing, the more I was able to comprehend more complicated sentences. This is how I improve my reading skill as well, okay? I didn't improve my reading skill by reading. For instance, I'm able to read Harry Potter right now, the Lord, of, the Lord of the Rings, every single thing, every single article, but I didn't even improve my reading skill by doing reading practice. Because understanding what you read is not about learning words. Understanding what you read is to be able to comprehend these structures, English structures. Because while I was doing this practice, I was getting familiar more and more with English grammar structures, this is how, over time, I started understanding every single thing that I was reading in English. Learning like an actor, repeating lines, you know, without looking at text, and going through all those things in your head make a huge difference when it comes to learning English. So, since then, I always practice with these methods, guys, okay? If you're new to my channel and you have no idea how to learn English with my methods, I made more than 10 videos about this topic, about my method. You can go watch those videos and see how I improve my speaking skill, listening skill, reading skill, every single thing with this method. And the main reason I wanted to make this video is because I'm pretty sure many of you out there are going through the same process, experiencing the same challenges, coming across the same, running into the same obstacles. And you struggle with the same things. You feel like you're a failure, you know, you want to give up or, you know, because you try to learn English, you attempt to learn English many, many times and you end up failing many, many times. And that's, that's such a terrible feeling. That sucks, okay? So basically, I want to give you guys the full picture, okay? My failures, my attempts and my failures. The most important thing is here, I didn't give up, you know? I tried to figure out the best way of learning English for four months. And during those four months, fear many times took over. I was fucking scared because I had to learn English by myself, but I had no idea how to do that. And I was trying to figure out a way of doing that, and I was failing many, many times. Yeah, so basically, it took me four months to figure out the best way of learning English. No matter what you do, just don't let the fear took over your life and don't give up okay guys because eventually you're gonna figure it out okay just keep just keep thinking on it just keep pondering okay anyways i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye